What's happening, Panthers? Welcome to New Year of Amplified News. I'm your host, Rain Carica. It's been a while since we've been on air. All of us at Amplified News are excited to be back, bringing you the best of what's happening around campus each month. On today's show, we'll check in with this year's Boys Varsity basketball team as they prepare for another exciting season. Yippee. A little later in the broadcast, we'll speak with Mr. DSCT software and app design class as they learn the finer points of drone aviation. But first, let's kick off this year's first episode with a feature on Grammy award-winning singer slash songwriter, Kurt Chambers, who stopped by Amphi last month to play a concert for students during an advisory year in October, hosted by Amphi's lead guitar program. Probably about 20 years, yeah. Man, I was pretty much called to do it. I grew up around a lot of great musicians in church, but um, it music really, it chose me, so I had no choice but to get into it. That's a great question, I love it. I would have to say that my greatest achievement is still being able to do it. Yeah, yeah, I would say that's it. Well, uh, through partners of ours uh, called Guitar Salon International, they have a lot of uh, famous guitarists that endorse their products and uh, um, they introduced me to Kurt and then Kurt and I hit it off and he joined us for uh, what we call We Are Guitar, a, a, a YouTube broadcast that we do and, and, and now I think he's going to be a regular, a regular artist for us. I love it. I, I used to be a performer and uh, thought I would never want to give that up because I loved it so much, but I love this more and, it, and at the end of the day, it, it means more to me. Now that the legend Kurt Chambers is done playing, let's bounce to the news about the boys varsity basketball team. This season's forecast is expected to be cloudy with a chance of basketball and coach Lisa and his team are ready to take the court and rain buckets across Pima County and beyond. Go Panthers! Feeling great, you know, we got a 15 guys on the team, eight of us are seniors, so we're expecting a lot of leadership this year. And, uh, definitely winning region. Excited, you know, we're putting a lot of work in, and I feel like we should be way better than last year. good you know we've been having experience since middle school you know we all grew up together yeah. it's a lot of pressure but you know I'm ready to handle it you know last year didn't go as, as I planned so I'm trying to make a better year this season incredibly excited about the work that we've done for the last 10 months and now that they get a chance to see what that work does for them on a basketball court. We have a lot of senior leadership. We got 15 guys on the varsity roster, eight of them are seniors. So that, that leadership should carry through and, and that experience should translate on the court. Have you ever wanted to code like an Android hooked up to Jat GPT? Then consider Mr. Diaz CT software and app design class, which focuses on the art of coding at a professional level. If things like drones, robots, and computers get your gears going, then this might be the class for you. I would say that if you like anything that's around technology, I would say to take this class or, and this class isn't too stressful. It's a fun, relaxing environment. 
I ended up choosing this class because I've always loved anything technologically. Like, so I was always around computers, I was always around like phones and stuff like that. So seeing this class, I thought it would be a good opportunity to take it. Um, believe it or not, this is going to sound wrong when I say it, but I expect them to fail. And in the sense where I want them to fail here than in the workforce. This is an opportunity for them to learn their mistakes and not make those same mistakes um, throughout the four years of high school when they're here. If they learn how to um, go through and correct those mistakes as they go along, they won't have those um, kind of um, big, huge mistakes um, when they're in their workforce. Um, being open-minded. Yes, you're going to be frustrated in doing it because this is something totally new and different that you even encounter, but you need to be open-minded and try. Um, the one thing that I always like to tell my classes is that you need to try to make that effort um, to, to do it. Whether it's right or wrong, it doesn't matter, but making that effort, it, it's a thousand times easier when you, when you don't try. That's our show, Panthers. We had a great time bringing you this month's stories and events. Thank you all for watching. From all of us at Amplified News, I have a great day, have a great holiday season, and see you next month.